Hey guys, Dash Puppy here. So, I've had this box for about three weeks and just haven't had any time at all to play with it. Anybody want to guess what's inside? An Untangle UTM. So, I've been using Untangle for about nine years now and i finally got the courage to phone them and say hey can i have one of your entangle boxes to do a couple reviews on some setup videos and show people what they're good for and what they do and stuff like that and they said sure so here it is um i'm gonna set it up i'm gonna do a couple videos on how to set it up what it does what each port does uh, the benefits of buying these from them and using your own box i think they call that a uh, bring your own to bring your own box there's a term for it but i can't remember right now it's too late at night i'm tired and i'm also going to set up a raspberry pi as a pie hole with this box so right now i'm going to show you guys what's in the box pretty basic power supply small power supply and the actual fancy UTM. So on the front we have the famous Untangle sticker and this one's an actually U50. They don't make this anymore. They actually make a better one that's faster. Um, I think this is the one that they send around to people who do want to do reviews and test things out some of that but uh, yeah this is the basic unit right here. Let's go to the front. It's got some ports on the front. So on the front we got ETH three dmz internal and external power and disc so power lets us know that we got power disc is activity so it's reading and writing so logs and all that kind of stuff uh etho three not sure what it is because um, i believe that you can change what those do on the back here so you can assign it so if you can do if you don't want to do vlan tangy you can actually set up a different subnet so you can maybe use that for a wap and set up a network for a guest network or something like that and you can use internal and external so one for your modem one for your internal network that would go to a switch and then go to your network and you also got dmz so if you have a product that you do not want to set any rules for you just want it to go right to the internet right there so pretty simple box um i believe this is a core two or no this is an atom d something quad core something with four gigs of ram and a hard drive so in a couple days we'll set it up plug it in and right now we're going to after that we're going to attach the pi hole i might do a quick video on how to set up the raspberry pi i got one of these and i put a stick in there put raspberry pi hole on there and it very easy to do it's not really that hard but uh in the video i might do i will do a quick video how to make an image put it in here how to set it up all that stuff the nice thing about these boxes you could buy your own make them so that you don't have to use these but uh is if you want to keep your i know a lot of guys on the forums are talking about oh i want low power but good throughput and stuff of like that pies very very good on power this one a usb port on the back plug that in there and with untangle you can go into and change what etho3 does I'm pretty sure of that so we're gonna go through that little uh, experiment there and if you can port bind that to the internal network the nice thing is is you can put this in a box tape it to the top and leave it in your network or on your in your rack or whatever and it'll do it all for you right so this little tiny footprint will protect your home Plus, get rid of all the ads and all that other crap on the network, on 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 the web and stuff like that. Dog, dog wants to come in and see me. So, I'll do a video on that. Right now, I'm just going to do a uh, just thought I'd give you guys a quick uh, little rundown of what I got and what we're going to do. I've been a fanboy of Untangle for nine years. Everybody on hard hard forum where I used to hang out got kicked out because I told Kyle to uh, pound sand. Um, knew I was an Untangle fanboy and I've always used it. I tried Sophos for a while, liked it, but 
the network that I have is pretty big. I got a lot of stuff running in the house. I got a big rack on the other side of this wall full of equipment. And the wife was always complaining that Netflix would work, not work. I'd set rules. They would work for a couple of days and then an update would come through and then they'd break and then they would just go downhill and I got sick of it. So a Tangle is very good. Now, a step further than that, I went and bought Home Pro. So for $50 for you Americans, $62 for Canadians because the rates are just more. Uh, worth every penny. So you got all the antivirus, you got all the other stuff. I'm gonna do a quick run through of that, but um, I don't know why, I really don't know why I didn't pay for it a couple years ago, but now I have it and every year I'm gonna be subscribing and renewing my subscription and using it. So uh, I've seen a lot of guys on the home group that I'm probably gonna post this video on and a lot of guys say they buy it and use it and love it and I do too. So here's our little package. Wait a couple days and I'm gonna put out another video how to do the pie and then I'll probably bring a monitor, keyboard and mouse into the room here and we'll set it up and see what we see when we first turn on an entangle box. Run through the quick little wizard of set up your subnet, username, password, go out on the internet, do the updates, install the apps, all that kind of stuff. Pretty easy stuff and uh, go from there. And uh, yeah, so maybe talk to you in a couple days. Bye for now.